What's up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and I'm out here with Lenny. We are out here for another beautiful day at Cedia 2025, checking out the industry-leading best manufacturers. And I had to stop by the AWOL booth and check out what they got going on with these micro-LED TVs. Yeah. You guys know that we're always looking for the industry's best, but also we're looking for value. And I think I've heard AWOL has hit that sweet spot. So I'm gonna be passing it off to Lenny and he's gonna give you the lowdown on everything micro LED and video wall technology. Over to you, Lenny. Thank you. Wow, I take it away. I think I need to bring you into AWOL. Ah! So, <laughs> listen, um, AWOL is really blitzing this market, okay? We're making a big splash here at CDA with our LED product. Yeah. And a lot of these dealers, a lot of the industry is not familiar with LED. They're not familiar with this tech. Yeah. They don't know. They fear it because it's coming from a commercial space. I didn't even know you guys were going to be rolling all this out. I've seen some, a couple introductions in past yeah. CDS, but you kind of have been known as the ultra short throw guys. And I was told to come check out a Valerian. You had to stop me and say, no, no, man, this is the future. This is it. This is it. <laughs> LED is the future of display. No doubt about it. But not only that, there's a lot of LED out there. Yeah. This is COB micro LED, which is, I think the best tech out on the market right now, accessible to way more people than you think. So COB stands for chip on board. Why is that better? Look, it's printed, the, the diodes are printed right on the board. Then they are sealed with an epoxy to protect them. But we also get those deeper blacks. Mm -hmm. And that's how we achieve the great contrast that we have in all of these displays. That's the key. That is the key. So I there's also, if you're into video walls, if you're into video technology, you've been watching this stuff, you know there's, there's a lot to video walls. There's the pixel pitch, which is also kind of considered like our resolution, right? Our viewing distance. Um, but a lot of things that people don't know um, that can really be costly about these video walls is the processing and the modules that connect to the actual LED panels themselves. That's right. So can you talk about the processing behind your panels? Yeah, absolutely. So we considered all of these things before okay. we entered this channel and we simplified it all. Well, we put together our, what you could call kits. Now you can yeah. buy these on a panel level if you want and make really cool architectural yeah. installations, right? But what we do is we package it all up. We got a great processor, top of the line components. Okay. Don't let the price fool you. The price is what it is because we want mass adoption of this technology, Yeah. okay? And that's why we are where we are with that price point. So we haven't talked about price point. No. But he's kind of teasing you guys because no, no, I was no, no, just no. talking with Steven. He said, apparently I can get this 129 inch TV back here for less than the JVC projector. You absolutely <laughs> can. That's the crazy part about it, right? Okay. Top of the line processor. You got top of the line controller cards. When you say top of the line, Obviously you have different yeah. versions, right? Like can, give me some some terminology so that my video geeks understand what you mean by top of the line. Okay, so when it comes to LED, you're all talking about resolution. Yes. Some of the first questions we get for folks coming from projector or LCD is, I want 4K. Can yeah. you do 4K? <laughs> but what what does it mean? There's a little more to it. There's a little more just to it. 4K. That's, That's right. So tell us. Exactly. So 4K when it comes to the world of LED is really the pixels, right? Each pixel is a diode. Now, when you look at it 4K, this 162 beast behind me, okay? That's 4K at 0.9 pixel pitch. Now the pixel pitch is obviously right how close those LEDs yep. are together. In order to achieve 4K, you need that much space. Now that doesn't mean the product looks like it's terrible or the resolution's low or it looks bad. You gotta be a certain distance away from that wall. And that's where we're trying to educate the folks out there. So listen, you could do a 0.9, 21.9, get rid of that projector option all together. Just blow it out. Okay. Because there's no way you're gonna put a projector in a penthouse with a glass wall and natural daylight. Nah. Now look, I'm not busting on projector. There's a space for it. Well, we all Absolutely. know other than dedicated cinema and even then, you know, we're finding more I'm and more okay. people are going towards the LED. You're, you're right. absolutely right. <laughs> absolutely so right. We're living in reality out here, guys. We're bringing you the latest and greatest. And the reality is, is video walls are the future. This is it. This so, is it. So when we're talking about like HDMI technology that you guys put in your walls, 
Um, I'd, I'd like to understand what what is your standard or what your entry level and high end because that's really important. You know, we're we're selling Trinovs with you know the the 18 gig ports, the 20, uh, the 48 sure. gig ports. Like we want to pass through future proof technology potentially and even 8k yeah right or or at least a full chroma 4x4x4 yeah right? absolutely like can. Yeah. so so tell me what can you do <laughs> no you you're it's a great question so most of our processes work at a chassis level okay. which means you put insert cards that are input and output cards which means you could upgrade them as the as the industry yep. upgrades yep. right so let's say we're pushing um hdmi 2.0 right now yep when the 2.1 cards are out you just swap one out, put a new one in, and your wall can power it. So all your panels come with 2.0 currently? Currently with 2.0, okay. we are looking at 2.1 cards because there are manufacturers that create their processors. They're super expensive and wouldn't be in line with your mass production rollout because but, they're so expensive to produce. To some degree, yes, yeah. but they're gonna become economical because as they're with further time. adopted with time, it's yeah. totally fine. Now look, each screen has a matched up processor to make it perform its best, Perfect. right? We're using flagship. We're using Novastar processors. Okay, with our setup. Okay. Yep. So a lot of these components, guys, once you start researching, you're gonna find similar components behind the scene. That's right. That actually do the processing for the video wall. Where we differentiate though, on, okay. to add to your point. Tell me. Is the cabinet. Okay. Right? Our competition may have the same exact processor, the same exact cards and the same exact input. Okay. Right? And the fidelity. Okay. They won't look the same because Top tier modules, top tier power supplies, top tier ICs, top tier main boards and receiving cards. You can't get that kind of package for this price point anywhere. I guarantee it. Give me a call if you find something ah, better. He's confident. Give he's me confident. a call. Okay. Give me a call. Awesome. Never mind US based tech support. Okay. We're based That's out of Florida. Incredible. You're based out of Florida. This is a US team having this presence. Everywhere. Okay. So more questions. Power requirements and warranty. Awesome. Let's hit the warranty one first. Warranty, two years out of the box. Okay. We get up there to three, just, four, just and standard. five. Just standard. Just standard. Nice. Two I years. I mean, your average TV, guys, you get a Samsung, you get a Sony, you're getting one year. That's right. What was the second? <laughs> Power. Power. With these LED oh, walls, sorry. we're always yeah. thinking, what's it going to take right. to drive it? You're right. right? 110, so 220, how much? 110 depends on the size of the wall. We'll tell you how many circuits are necessary to put in. They daisy chain power. They're all power. 110. They're all 110. So you're looking at probably like 16 amp, 20 amp Easy. circuits, two, Easy. three, four, depending on the size of the wall. Okay. Right? Because they pull different amounts of on power. On 120 amp? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, efficient. Yeah. Our product runs- Is it hot? Let's feel it. Feel it. Let's feel it. No way. Oh, it's not steaming. No way. The product runs cool. Okay. Right? It produces less BTUs, consumes less power than a toaster or a hair dryer. You'd be surprised. Do you, do you guys do a white balance calibration on it prior to sending it out? We do all of that at factory. That's another great thing and about it. And do you us. provide extra panels that are white balance matched? Yes. The spare kit is insane. I'm it telling you. It all. <laughs> you guys thought it through, huh? Thought it through. I've <laughs> okay. got a lot of years okay. of industry experience here. We know exactly what the customer and the dealer wants out yeah. of this product, right? We want to make sure this Clearly. product has the longevity to last as long as we're going to say we are. Because yeah. I don't want you calling me and like, a year or two and be like, yo, I need new parts. Yep. And I, 100,000 hour lamp life on this product. No burning, zero. Give a reference. How long is that? 10 years. <laughs> you're going to pull, you're going to pull this definitely wall. definitely getting a new one by That's then. what I'm saying. You're yeah. going to pull this wall down yeah. before. You're going to put it into your bathroom. By then right? it'll just be like holographic matrix stuff. That's it. We'll just like it. open our eyeballs and it'll be. <laughs> and I'm the telling you, that's the future. <laughs> Architectural work like that 99. It's no longer just 16 to 9, 21 9 aspect ratios. People are putting this in the home to show art. Okay, you're you're really getting me going. I want right. to go through this booth and I want you to point out some of these cool things freestyle. Guys, we're going freehand POV now. We're going to take it into the booth and I actually want you to kind of touch and feel it with me. Let's go. All right, let's do it. We're going to start off first with this 162 16 to 9 ratio. Just to give you proportionately how big this unit is. I am 5'8". This is a big boy, all right? And yeah. you need some space. So this is what I was talking about. When you want 4K and LED 0.9, that's how big a wall you're gonna get. The idea here is as long as you're at 10 feet or so away from the wall, you will not be able to differentiate 4K or non-4K content or quality. 
okay? Uh, Let's all right, go. So, so give me an idea here. Wait, we got 162 inches. Guys, this is like a, a typical home theater screen is 120, 133 inches. Okay, Beast. this is this is much bigger. So right. we're, we're looking at like half the cost of a name brand like Samsung, guys. This is a game changer. Yep, but not half the quality. I got to point that out. We get yes. the question a lot. They're saying, how did you get this pricing so low? We want a market blitz to happen. We want mass adoption. We want the numbers for everybody to get the access to this product, okay? This isn't just for the high rollers anymore, all right? All right, let's take a look at this. This is a really yeah, what's cool happening example. Here? This is a 99 inch portrait array, okay? You got a two by five configuration. Sorry, correction, two by six configuration here. There's two cabinets wide, six tall. Why would you put this in your house? Well, let me answer. Architectural design. LED is now going into homes to display art, to display atmospheric content. You want to see rain. You want to see the sunrise in Africa while you're having your coffee in your kitchen? Yeah. This is what you use to do it, right? Let's it's go. It's no longer just Netflix, or you could run all your cameras on it if you want. Which brings me to this beast. This is a 197 inch diagonal. Is this a 32 by nine? 32 by 9.9 pixels. This is my favorite aspect ratio right here. Cause you can do the 16 by nines off to the side, have like four games going and then have your main game going right in the middle. Yeah. So all of our processors out of the box have multi-view capability, all right? Every single one of them. So you can do this by setting up your presets and then flipping through them however you want. Game night, you put it on, right? You're watching a movie, you switch your process. Now this is like 108 inch, two screens, but side by side. And with a quick of a button, Jesse, do me a favor, click on the screens, change the aspect. There we go. Anyone. All right, we're gonna change the aspect ratio you got. All right, here goes my finger, boom. Nice. Look so at this that. This is a different use case scenario. A different use case scenario. Look at the split out we've got over here. It's a two by two oh. plus another one plus a main 16 to nine screen. That is so cool. Plus two more on the right if that wasn't enough. And each one of these is a live signal. All right. This is not, this is not some fluffy stuff at shows where we play you a big cool MP4 where we cut it up into different sections. These are actual live signals coming in. These processors are able to do this out of the box, which is 197.9. What's the cost on that puppy? You don't have it on here. Two 108s put together. Oh. 60 grand? You can get that for 60,000, guys. That's pretty wow. amazing. It's wild. Wow. All right. Is there anything else that we need I to I got to show you. One more, it's the beast, come on. All right, we got one Let's more, see if there's guys, anybody follow there. me. Come along. So, this will blow you away. Okay. This is a 0.7 pixel pitch, 135. Oh. Oh. 2,000 nit brightness unit. Come Holy along, smokes, come in here. Guys. Wow, you can, there. Wow. That's wild, right? That's good, man. That's really good. You see, you have a 0.7. I didn't see that on the card. It's on. Is that, is that yeah. the smallest? So or 0.7 the best, is the tightest. The tightest. That we have in the iSeries product available. I mean, it, it, guy, it, to give a reference for a 0.7, you would literally have to be sitting where we are now, which is like four or five feet from the screen to see the pixels at yeah, all. Yeah, typically the ratio is simple. You just multiply it to get that 10, right? So yeah. 0.7, about within seven feet is yeah. around where you're looking at. 0.9 is about 10, 12 feet, right? Yeah, but I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm sitting here at four or five feet. I can't see the pixels. So in addition to your stitching is really well done uh, on each individual panel. I mean, this is a good looking panel here, man. Wow. <laughs> All right, guys, you heard it here first. AWOL is changing the game. They are introducing some very, very great price points with industry leading tech. Exciting time. All right, we're back. Guys, how exciting is micro LED video wall technology? I mean, 
the use cases every time I end up in these booths looking at these video walls, my mind just starts racing now it's crazy. with the possibilities. So if you guys are interested in checking something out like this, we have demo rooms where you could come in and actually tour. Like I think you guys have one down in Dallas, right? That's right. Um, so different locations, depending on which dream media sales rep you're working with, reach out, schedule a consultation. We also offer in-home full custom integration. Dream Media Plus program goes above and beyond to provide the full design from every single wire that you need in your home, whether it's shades and lighting, audio, video. My guys go through and meticulously label everything. Then we offer renderings and 3D animations to really bring your vision to life. Thank you so much for giving Absolutely. us the, the lowdown. Like you got me stoked out here hey, today. I'm excited. I haven't seen anything at this price point on the show floor today. So That's you guys exciting. are disturbing the industry, which I love I to love see. I love it, I love it. Uh, thank you Appreciate guys for tuning you. in. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.